move then. Hello everyone, welcome to another match day vlog. Then Southampton at home in the Carabao Cup. And just once again, I'd say for my whole TV, really, fuck you, lost. Said it the last few times and it's worked, so hopefully it'll work again. None of this video is your content. I just seem to claim about four times last season, get me videos took down and the appeal worked. So yeah, any more gets taken down, Molo TV, you've had it. Anyway, either way, it's going to be a tough game this because both of us in the league, Everton and Southampton, have won absolutely fuck all, true absolutely fuck all, and we've all got zero points and four losses, plus in Southampton. Well, Southampton do get a few results at Goodison Park, they've had a few draws more than wins because obviously they never used to win at Goodison but that was the scenario for most teams until the last few seasons when everyone's starting to win us because we've gone absolutely bollocks haven't we really but yeah Southampton won us last time so he won there James Ward-Prowse scored a brace and it's mad really his journey Ward-Prowse went to West Ham had a season or two there and actually he had a season there and a second season now he's gone on at Nottingham Forest so I don't know what the force of that was because West Ham should have kept him anyway I spoke for about a minute now but just I'm going to give me score predictions. I think we'll win 2 1 and it'll be very near the end. I think we'll be 2 0 and then we'll end up fucking just <laughs> conceding very late on, make it bad for ourselves. As we all know, we've bottled 2 0 leads twice in two games. You know what I mean? Against fucking Bournemouth, which is the frustrating one. And then Aston Villa, which was expected because they're a good team, but still, that should not be happening. And I was fearing about both. Anyway, yeah, fucking him. Anyway, can you get the bus now to Goodison and Yeah, it's just one of them in it, this game. So yeah, either two one or one one and Southampton probably win on penalties because in this competition, I think it means a penalty is about what four or five times after the seven seasons and I've lost every fucking shootout. And we score a late goal and still lose a shootout. And we lose them in stupid ways as well. Like Amador Onana last season, what the fuck was he doing? Anyway, two minutes intro. Enjoy the vlog. Also I want to warn you all about something and feel away travel. If you're going to get anything off for me, booze, don't. Whatsoever. They've probably messed people around plenty of times before. I didn't really know that. Obviously, I knew Barry Council's Arsenal and all that, but of course, everyone with the money back and all that. Like, I've been told by him and all that, but no, no one has. And yeah. So I thought, you know what? I've been to five away with him. So I thought, let's go to, you know, Tottenham away. The night before, he cancelled it on everybody. Nearly four weeks, four weeks Friday since he cancels, and on the same day he cancels, you when you get your refund tomorrow, which would have been four weeks this after coming, we're supposed to have your refunds every day since tomorrow, tomorrow, soon, soon, soon. And now, loads of people have come forward about it, including group chats and all that on Theo Facebook chats and stuff like that. But the Facebook groups where you actually online on Facebook more than just direct message, and it's like we're all coming up and saying the same thing now, with are all coming out and seen a few posts on Twitter, a few people messaged me from the group chat, like he's messed up about so many times before. I'm 090 and there's other people who are over 400 and more, so that's why I'm human as well. Like, look, it's not just me, I understand that, but he's messing everyone around and it's just different excuses every time. And I know you probably watch this, if you do, hello mate, just give us our refund, simple as that, really, because it's absolutely fucking ridiculous this, it really is. Come to four weeks, no refund still and put me out of pocket for Villa so I couldn't go and I'm very very unsure on Leicester because I fucking can't find tickets anyway but was he if I can money is very very borderline so yeah the refund would be nice mate but just warn you all don't get anything off for me blues and obviously that time I got told not to plaster anything online which was like yeah I won't plaster anything online but now it's been that long and I've heard that many different scenarios that I'm bound to plaster it online because just warn people where the money's gonna go because tell you what, you're not going to get your refund for a long while, so yeah. get your seatbelts on because you're on the journey. Get on the bus now, anyway. Shouldn't be too far away, yeah. It's obviously not where I am. Yeah, this is too longer than I thought. Yeah, the bus dropped me off in a handy place here. Because, in fact, why am I going to walk up there? I can just walk down there. Yeah, match day. Goodison Park. Goodison under the lights. Nothing better is the. Why am I standing there trying to cross a busy nose instead of walking to the lights? Fuck knows. Anyway, so I've seen the lineups. And yet again, safe to say Keane's got something with Dyche. And Dyche's got something with him as well. 
both of them love each other, seriously. But why is Keane playing again? I understand there's a few illnesses, but come on. That's pathetic. Keane again. I'm, I'm not sure it's on a divvy. Obviously, Keane wasn't fully to fault for all the goals we conceded recently, but he still had a little bit like that Watkins goal with the header. So, look, oh, my God. Uh, I was like, what the fuck's going on? But the lights aren't turning at all. But anyway, yeah, fucking... Um, on Watkins, Keane didn't do absolutely nothing. He just let him off the free header. A few times that happens against Bournemouth as well. And it's worrying, really. Southampton, I bet you Adam Lallana will score. The ex cop ace, who's an Everton fan as well. So, won't be surprised if he scores. I think Alex McCarthy's had his 150th Southampton appearance. Normally, when players have landmark appearances, they do good. So, won't be surprised if he has a masterclass in goal. Who actually knows? And then, yeah, Maxwell Corney as well. He's a good player, and we will have to do a few times. So, won't be surprised if he gets a goal as well. I'm still sticking with the position, but. It's, not easy sometimes. Let him just get the job done. Play a few different plays today, so let's hope they work. He always does well against those Ryan plays, he's a good player. Ooh. Oh, this is a club that we've never won, I like to go far on this. Come on. Oh. Back in arms, strong lad. So let's see what he can do. Seeing as this is a lot, we went with that. I'm not ready to start at the top tier and they've sold out most of the bottom tier but still empty seats there. They haven't sold out, so they can't sing nothing. Come on. I'm lucky enough, come on. To be fair, South Island probably would sell the top tier as well if it was a league game. Like, they've got good fans, so I'll give them that. I've been proved for last time, we've sat them down on his ass. Oh no. See them over ages against Villa. Yeah. Remember when I'm singing that against us when people have seen where these two are? Yeah. I don't know, but I can ask them. We need to be better on forward, don't we? Forward to see. Such a slow start to the game from both of us here. No surprise. I need a little song. Well done. Original chant. Hopefully we have this, hopefully. Pick the ball in the box though, because better are doing that than doing the short corners. Hate that short corner of the regime on every team. Oh, 
Cosi por lo que y solo que tenemos un fragmento de la máquina de que en Pedro Chile nos fue a salir con we haven't had the ball for about two, three minutes now come on well man, some of these passes are shite I'll buy the one that went out to Fraser I don't know what just look at the don't get it out it's all over is very bad at the back but going forward he's actually very good like his brother Will Keen but like both of them are very good Will Keen and Michael Keen up front but at the back Michael Keen is useless but have him a game with Will front please yeah it's a goal I've done well to get that in the back of the next hopefully that gives us a spinner Neverland's eyes have been absolutely knocked onto the floor okay you ready for the intros? Nah, no foul oh fuck it off but I mean both teams have been really slow, you can see why both teams are fighting at the moment for relegation. Oh, a bit of a cheap call there. Which, he did have to give it to me fair because the fella was pacey. I think it's Adibo in it, so he is pacey. So Brian did well to just give away a corner, not enough. Well, if you look at Southampton, you look to target them for set pieces. United scored two against them on Saturday. We just scored one from a set piece, so yeah, their weakness is defended them, really. Oh, why have we left them in that much space for? Oh, get it out. Whee! Set of years, though. Always leave players in so much space. Like, that could have been a lot worse. Especially if it was like a better team, but like, Southampton, they are an all right team, don't get me wrong, but. Both us, us and Southampton are really on a tough season, so good luck to Southampton fans, good luck to us as well. As long as both us pick it up. Because I actually don't mind Southampton, are they? Just don't. Hey, stadium's good, isn't it? And they have good fans. Like, obviously, in the league games. Like, okay, like, yeah, like our fans ain't the best at the moment, but this is the cup game. He did one on one with the keeper. He just slides it across. So if it was a better one next to him, he just hit it in. Or he could just still score that. He's one on one with the keeper. I just don't know how he's missed. We're always trying to step having to score here, you know what I mean? Just to fucking rub it in. And this is an absolute sitter. Shit like that always happens. Make sure you keep up the way the box goes. Come on, please. <laughs> Press on, lads. On, Dixon. Like over this guy. Well in, lads. Actually, younger 100%. He should play instead of him. Yeah, playing 39 year old veterans like Ashley on the bottom line. And then the new shoe got done there. He's just closing down here. Make sure you don't get the ball in the box. Oh it's like we're scared gosh, to tackle it. Just get a fucking foot in. Oh, get up, soft ass. Whee. Get in the book, you. <laughs> Marlin stumble, he just looks so off the pace. He missed that sit and he just puts some pressure on his body. If he wants to win the board, he doesn't need him straight away, that's mine. Man. Taking it off him. He swapped his game a little bit. Him, could you? Don't even know. I thought it was good as well, me. Definitely, obviously, thought not. Slid in to try and get the ball. But... Yeah. I think better. It's got to be stronger with that. If he's stronger, he can get all that ball. That should be the back of this. But he's just too weak. Like, it's got 
be much better because these are the chances that we're going to miss. I'm just going to come possibly later on in the game. It'll be much better at them. Well, they scored the set piece as well, straight away. It was a very soft free kick to concede. Stupid. None of our defenders tried to get near that, none of our players at all. Like McNeil, he's been off the pace so many times. Like, what's he doing? I was going to need fucking air to give him a free header. What's he doing? Just boxes him head of the ball. At least fucking put pressure on. Absolutely ridiculous, lazy ass defend. Free kick that looked a bit sloppy. They fans singing, you're not singing, although we weren't really singing as much anyway. They were singing like they'd been alarming, so make your mind up. We can't defend that one. Come on! The problem is, we can't keep a lead. We can't defend. We concede so many goals. 14th goal a season we conceded already. It'd be much better. But yeah, he still consistently plays my Keane at the back, so yeah, it must be something good. And Bumblebee's and McNeil and McKean. McKean! Oh, okay. Makes sense. That's a bit bad. Just mess with me saying, use the lasses again. And these we are. Absolutely stupid. Or whatever, and that is not me, Dad. He's fucking all over it! Come on! After the last gob shite! Oh, she's a ball in. How slow we are. Lindstrom just doesn't want to fucking put a foot in. It's sad as that is. So fucking slow. I thought he was well off the day. Just they don't want to put the officiating in this game for shite. Southampton have had five free kicks. That should never have happened in my books that I counted so far. And that was offside. Not being given, I wasn't. How many fucking times, no beds? Our players are getting fucking ragged. Twatting about, nothing's getting given. But then one of our players touches their players. They're down like a sack spuds. Oh, free kick there. Not even when their players go down to you. Their players don't even complain when they get tackled. So I'm not having a go at Southampton or nothing, really. Their players are getting touched. And they get given fouls. And there's obviously no complaints even before the fouls given. So, so many times better than getting the shirt rags. Absolutely fuck all is getting given. It's really, really irritating. Space will leave them and they can just run. He just doesn't want to put a foot in it. He's walking away from the fucking ball. It's an absolute shit show. No one wants to put a, no one's put a foot in. Come on. Oh my god, I get the ball in. Brilliant on Mangala. I am really happy with that. But still have no quality in front of those who we bar with a set piece. It's like fucking both. The problem is Daesh still makes stupid selections. And then he'll go, oh we have the whole team's injured, so some of our fans are like, they can't just judge it because this player is ill and unwell. How could it be that many players unwell at once? Fucking stupid. But just win today. We need to just fucking improve more and more. But a very frustrating watch at the minute. Oh, fucking hell! What are you giving? Soft shite! See what I mean? Better does one little kick on them. It's a free kick straight away, he doesn't miss that, does he? But yeah, better is getting this shit like ragged like that. Not just getting given this. Right. Sometimes referee decisions bizarre. Fucking stupid. How easy. Oh, Hey, hey, hey. Does someone just tell me who the set is? He's going for the ball. Better I'll jump up in the air. Someone grabs all the middle of the shirt and pulls him again. No foul given. He's an absolute shite referee, this. Southampton are getting everything off the referee. I don't even want to sound salty and bitter here, but I'm not fucking wrong at all. Really 
really, really shite this. Just no pressure, nothing at all. Something needs to change. Literally just got myself, I think I'll just go out to family. It's like a football match or FIFA when you put the ability of zero. <laughs> Genuinely, it's a fucking river. Like, it's tough on the bills. What's he even doing? What's he doing? He's not even putting a foot in. Put a foot in there. Nope. <laughs> what on air? Just fucking put a foot in. Saying that the way this referee's been, no one's why I just want to put a foot in. Get a yellow card otherwise. Once again, he's getting the shirt back. No one's getting done about it. How many fucking times? Oh, this is where he's watching you. Mixed with the sections there the last time. Just one all. Something needs to change. We haven't attacked as much as we usually do. Well, usually do. We don't attack often anyway, but at home we usually have good attack, like against Brighton. We did all right in the attack until they scored the second and we had Young sent off. We attacked a lot against Ball and we've just done nothing really. <laughs> Referee's been poor. As I said, I'll 60 times. Probably get the hint, don't you? Southampton, I think they look a little bit better, but even then, they haven't impressed me a lot. So needs to change here because it's not good enough. It's actually laughable how hard we are. And by the way, Linton actually made the tackle towards the end of the half. But I like Linton, I don't want to put him down. But I understand he's not a defender, but he's still going to be putting this foot in to back him off every time. But Southampton scared me when they go forward as well. Just, we've had some chances that we've just missed wastefully and scored our goal, but because he had a super one where we just give him a free header and no one pressured him at all. Second half has to be better. 2 1 still is my prediction for Everton. If I predicted a 2 1, I don't know why. But I'm pretty surprised if it's 1 1 and they win on penalties, I really wouldn't. So, yeah. I reckon that's probably how it will go, to be honest. <laughs> So, I can see what's going to happen, Ben Brett and Diaz is a good player, he'll go on and score a win. That I'm pissing the scores, but even with us, it says, but no, fair dues, it is ample dues. It was a harsh challenge. I've seen loads of successful ones, so I've been so happy. successful and it is my fella. You've got your Igborium here. The Timmy I should say. Can't say his second name. Okay, Hope this fella gets it. Oh, he's to score the goal like I can't sleep there. So the performance is obviously cost us, but still never a free kick. He was the first. Well, actually, I'll watch that on the replay before judging like, when I'm actually watching it. So there'll be a replay of that. And if he has got connection, Dixon, then it is obviously a foul, but not first, but he's way less serious, though. 
Oh, way to the bar for you. Um, he's just ragged in now, pushed him like that. That's no foul, but yeah, all the ones these of his. Fucking hell. The referee just looks like a fucking little slump. <laughs> Complaining here, you're not gonna get that one, are you? I don't know why McLean is so easy. He can't even defend on other events. It's terrible. Absolutely rubbish kick. Seems like I'm putting us down a lot today, but I don't mean to. It's just the fact that we are playing choice. We fucking have done quite a lot of examines. Can't bring this form into the league, can we, really? I don't know why you're not. It's like I'm going to on the front foot here. What is this? Oh my fucking ways, what are you... It's okay, we're gonna go kick, but why are you pissing about like that? Everyone can see this! Oh, it's shite. Backwards ball all the time. And like you just said, all of us can see a problem, but they just never can. Fourteen lads. Fourteen lads. Oh, yeah, just let them all flash to their lives, don't you? So frustrating to watch. Got a chance to be missing, and then other will just take them. takes the tight from the refuse. Turns up, but young, fuck, you know. Guarantee each other card. Oh, I'm not happy about it. They're just a comedy show, us. Oh, they're cool. The amount of moves, that's just wrong. Still, fuck, you know. Is he trying to get sacked? Fuck, you 
I've got no centre forwards, and Zay's not a centre forward, he's an attacker midfield or a winger, and we've got no forwards on the pitch. Take a better look for fucking Ashley Young, is he? No, no, no. Oh, he's all over. Oh, he's giving the bomb he's going to get the foul there. Eh? Your dad just went to Ashley Gold Young, but I'm. Oh, I'm going I don't want to see those penalties either, we never win on them. And I don't think we need a lot of penalties taken on the pitch. It's just painful to watch, to be honest with you. We've got sitters we miss all the time when it comes to box, doesn't it? Better substitution than Stash. Fault with them every fucking time. Exactly, that's another problem we've got. We'll start Hampton, I'm not going to lie, they've outplayed us today. Not to sound stupid, no, it's got one, but... We're starting to free score off this corner, now it's a cheap corner to concede. The ball's going to stop between O'Brien's feet. No, I'm not for doing it. It's short corners, as they always do, they'll stop between here. Wow. South Hampton, I've been being the greatest team, but that's what you're just... We've just been shite. Score and we don't look like it. <laughs> Southampton look really dangerous. At times going forward, like, but. What, what both teams poor. You can see why we're both down the bottom of the table. So, like, once again, wish both was luck for the season because it's not going to be good for the Evils. This is just piss poor, this. How slow is Southampton playing in the back end? They're still keeping on. Oh, of course, he'll give back once a fucking game. Every fucking time. Oh, man, get out of the What a 
waist that is why he just wants to shot it. I think it's two misses before, he just put a positive the set. And back we go again. After all that. That's the first good ball McNeil's done for a long while in this game, and if anything, was quality. Put him well in there, and he's just he took the shot on it, he's delayed it. And that's again another problem. He can't do nothing with it. Oh, lad! Oh, good pressure, unlucky lad. She was helped, especially in this competition, was against the knowledge when I went years and years ago, 2015, I think it was. Not good luck. <laughs> Oh, 
finals this Diabolical from a lot of them today at the Fucking awful. Feels like an entire single, but so many times when it's not going to score than he hasn't. McNeil lad. He just doesn't look up for it at all. Hopefully he proves me wrong. Make up for some of the misses today. Oh, what a penalty! Come on. Well, you keep going, Bear. Virginia, come on. Everton, 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 Everton. Oh no. Not very confident on this one, really ain't. Competition in normal time, it's always penalty shootouts. The players on the bench, so not on the bench, sorry, plays on the pitch. It's him, it's him, it's him. Go. <laughs> O'Brien can certainly take a penalty. O'Brien is fucking boss at shooting the ball. Don't put him on the penalty, no. I don't know why it flashed the young on a penalty, I really don't. A massive left down again. I'm in the mud, you really are. That's it for Dice. Dice has got to go in my opinion. That's it. So then the shambles all over. I am rather gutted. I don't know about as gutted as Fulham last year when we got knocked out in the quarters. Because obviously we could have made the semis. But yeah, the last 16 teams have now been, not been given, but most of them have in the Carabao Cup and everything, one of them sadly. 
But Southampton did deserve it. They're a good team at times, Southampton. They do play possession football, but having between 23 and 26% possession, seen different sources about that. It's just not on, is it? No matter what. Southampton, like I said, if they're a possession team, they're a possession team, but that's just ridiculous. We're a home team and we play at the underdogs and like the away team every time. Then when we're away, we play at the lower league level FA Cup teams. It's absolutely ridiculous. Losing to Fulham last year was shit with Onana's penalty. Like, if you would have took that properly, you would have been through. But would have had Liverpool, so it would have been out. But then, this season, <sighs> all the penalties that we took were class. Ashley Young's was okay, don't get me wrong, but I think he had the post first, and whether or not the keeper was there, I don't know. It looked like the keeper saved the first, but then I've seen other people, and my dad's even saying when he watched that, it hit the post first. I don't know, I'll have to rewatch it, but I haven't watched it back for the right reasons. I don't want to fucking see it. Southampton fans, I mean, fair dues coming down there on a Tuesday night in the cup game. So you weren't as bad as Fulham fans that I apparently seen that Preston fucking that was terrible from Fulham there. Anyway, either way, we're out the cup. Not else we can do. Move on to Saturday. Hopefully get Dice out the club soon. Cause he is a stubborn twat. Hope he's all enjoys anyway if he's good. And hopefully see you soon. Bosh.